Hey folks, Dr. Joe here. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Uh, as usual, I'm having a wonderful day. A lot of fun, a lot of fun these past couple of days. A lot of good things happening. Uh, started filming our show, uh, one of our shows actually. Going to put it on a station called Over, Over the Top Network, which is kind of cool. So uh, hopefully that'll come out in a few weeks and you'll see that as well. You can see my pretty face. Well, you're going to be disappointed. So, But uh, today we're going to talk about, not so much about food and, and, and ke- chemistry. Well, we're going to talk more about chemistry actually and chemicals. And how chemicals have an adverse effect on your health. Because so many times we talk about the food, and if you've listened to the show before, you know we talk about the seven deadly sins, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. I know that's your whole diet. I was at an event yesterday, and um, somebody started. And and again, it's always funny because I go to these events, and I'm not there for as as Dr. Joe. I'm just there as a a person going to the event. And somebody recognized me, and they started asking about nutrition and blah, 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 and and, again. And so I said the seven deadly sins, and of course that opens up a whole can of worms, and what about this, and what I heard this was good for you, and I wasn't there to argue. So I, I kind of quell, put an end to that conversation pretty quick. Uh, but we're going to talk today about chemicals and different ways different chemicals adversely affect your body. And I want to start with fast food. And it's not so much the fast food we're going to talk about today, which is what we usually talk about. We're going to talk about the packaging. Now, there's a number of common chemicals that are what's called endocrine disruptors. And what that means is they disrupt your hormone function. Now, endocrine disrupting chemicals, they're called EDCs. Everything has initials. Why don't you just call it what it is? I never understood that. They're similar in structure to your natural hormones, things like estrogen. And estrogen is the big one. A lot of these chemicals are very similar to estrogen. Now, these chemicals can potentially interfere with your normal physiology. Now, let me give you a little definition here. I remember when I was an undergraduate, I was, I don't know, 17, 18 years old, whatever it was, and I took a class in anatomy. The problem was I didn't know what anatomy meant. And so I went a whole year, got an A in class, and this is way before the internet, and then I took a class in physiology. Got an A in that class. Didn't know what physiology meant. So I like to define things, and that's probably why I'm so, such a stickler of making sure you understand what these words mean. Anatomy means where things are. So I could look at your body and say, that's your bicep, that's your tricep, that's your spleen, that's your kidneys, that's your fifth lumbar vertebrae. That's where things are. Physiology means how they work. Well, the biochemistry goes into the body, and it, 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 you know, we have sodium, potassium on the inside and the outside of the nerves, and they switch back and forth, and it creates what's called an action potential. And that action potential is also called a nerve impulse or an electrical impulse. So anatomy, where things are, physiology is how they work. And so hormones can disrupt your physiology, how the body works. And it can affect physiological processes like metabolism, reproduction, growth, development, brain function, moods, how you gain weight, how you lose weight. So these chemicals are pretty big players when it comes to your physiology. Now, hormones' job is to regulate a cell's function. It sends signals that instructs them how to perform certain tasks, and these endocrine-disrupting chemicals interfere with the proper hormone signaling. So it's kind of your, your, it's your cell phone sending out messages. Well, this is going to interfere with the messages. So endocrine-disrupting chemicals, what, the big one we're going to talk about a lot is bisphenol A. It's also called BPA. It can mimic your natural hormones, and it tricks your body into either increasing or decreasing hormone production, or it can block the hormone signals, and it can bind to the cell receptors. Now, cell receptors are areas on a cell that are places where messages get in. Like there's a cell receptor for insulin. Insulin is released from your pancreas, goes into the cell. There's a cell receptor there for insulin, and it tells the cell to open up and allow sugar, glucose, into the cell. So these, the cell is just covered with all these different uh, receptor sites. And if the receptor sites aren't working properly, it can really mess with you. Mess with you. So the, the compounds that interfere with these vital pr- uh, functions can produce profound effects. I mean, hormones, we use m- such tiny, tiny, tiny amounts. And yet your body functions the way it does. You grow into a man, you grow into a woman, uh, you go through puberty, you go through normal, regular life, you go through menopause, uh, you go through menopause, right? Women will say that we go through it too, and I think we do actually. But bisphenol A, well-known endocrine disruptor. And according to some research, it's a chain of events that occur probably millions of times each day uh, maximizes the harm done by these chemicals. Now, there's a report in Time magazine. I'm going to give you a little quote here. And it says, according to a new study, people who used hand sanitizer, touched a cash register receipt, and then ate French fries were quickly exposed to a higher level of bisphenol A, 
and because the chemical is widely used to coat the, recept the, the receipt paper. So a couple of tips I'm going to give you as the show goes on is you definitely want to get away from taking receipts if you don't need them. And if you do take them, wash your hands. Same thing with money because a lot of people take their receipts and put it in their wallet with their money. This bisphenol A is getting onto the cash, and then you touch the cash. So whenever I touch money or count money, I always wash my hands. I look at it as something that's very dirty, and it is. It's extremely dirty. So make sure you don't get these chemicals on your body. Now, cash register receipts, small way to get bisphenol A in your body. Canned foods is a lot worse. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. But many times we line cans with bisphenol A, and that's where the problems come in. So there's another chemical, triclosane. This is the active ingredient in a lot of hand sanitizers, bisphenol A. And vegetable oils together create harmful problems. In isolation, they're bad. When they're together, they cause some really serious problems. Research now shows that when combined, you create a situation in which your body absorbs the greatest amount of toxins available. First of all, the absorption of BPA into your skin promotes higher levels of biologically active BPA in your body. And so they, we have a problem. So eating fast food not only is bad for you, it's the receipts and the boxes and the lining of the, of the wrapping that they put the food around that can cause some real serious hormone issues. Folks, got to go to break. Uh, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. My website, drjoe.com. If you want to tune into my uh, podcast, we have hundreds, probably over, well over 1,000 hours of podcasts on my website. Uh, we have articles there, my supplements, my books. I'm going to talk about those in a little bit. But the website's great. And sign up for my newsletter. We send out a lot of great information on my newsletter. We'll never give out your email address. Don't worry. We don't share your information or sell it. Uh, follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Hey, tell your friends about the show. Dr. Joe Show. We'll be right back. Dr. Joe Show. Hey, folks. Dr. Joe here. I am so glad that you're here with us today. And we're talking today about chemicals and how they adversely affect your body. And we've got so much to cover as far as, as preparing for the show. And normally I put together X amount of information. I know it's going to cover my show and I'm good. And I always give myself like triple the information. And this time there was so much information I had to cover on chemicals that I could probably do five, six shows on this. And you don't realize the chemicals that you're being exposed to every single day and what they're doing to your body. And so many times, you know, pa patients go to the doctor and they'll end up in our offices eventually. And they'll say, Doc, I've had everything done. I've had an EKG. I've had a heart scan. I've had a this. I've had, and, and nothing. They tell me nothing's wrong. Well, it's not that nothing's wrong. It's that they didn't find out what's causing the problem. So it's, it, there's semantics there involved. So, of course, something's wrong. Otherwise, you wouldn't be going to the doctor and spending your money. So, so one thing, again, we're going to give you a lot of little tips you can do to avoid these chemicals getting into your body. But I mentioned triclosane. I want to make sure I go back to that one. It's in hand sanitizers. And it's a hormone-disrupting chemical, especially bad for children. Now, children are much more sensitive to hormones than adult, adults are, so this, you really want to listen up if you have kids in your life in whatever capacity to keep them away from these chemicals the best you possibly can. Chemicals used to make hand sanitizer, soaps, lotions, sunscreen. They degrade the body's ability to act as a barrier, and so they act as a skin penetration enhancer. They allow the chemicals to get into the body easily and more, more effectively, if that's a, the right word to use there. So BPA enters the body uh, more efficiently than it would otherwise. If you have greasy foods and other oils, they can act similarly because BPA itself is fat-soluble. What that means is it dissolves in fat, so it's easier to get into the skin. Now, this is incredible. The absorption of BPA, bisphenol A, uh, occurred in people holding the receipt in as little as two seconds. So as soon as you take the receipt, it's going to get onto your body. Uh, according to the author of this one study, the amounts of BPA absorbed found in his research are in the zone where that affects uh, the effects are associated with obesity, diabetes, and neurological effects. So wouldn't that be a kick in the head that you're out at a fast food restaurant or anywhere and getting these receipts and you get them into the body, two seconds they, they absorb into the system, and it starts affecting your ability to lose weight? See, that, that right away, I knew it got your attention. Wait a minute, lose weight? What do you mean? Dr. Joe, we want, to, we want to be able to lose weight the best we can. In fact, I was a guest on a show yesterday. Uh, my friend Belinda Skelton, she called me up, asked me if I had a big guest on her show. And we talked about weight loss. And she said, how do we lose weight as fast as possible get into, your, get into your, your little bikinis that you want to wear? And so weight loss is a real hot topic. 
but you may be doing things every single day. And if you listen to my show, you know I'm a big fan of fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. I don't eat animal products. I haven't had animal products in over 32 years. Uh, what you do in your life, of course, is always up to you. But a lot of people will say, well, Dr. Joe, I find that if I eat canned foods, it's really cheap and really easy and absolutely true. But cans are oftentimes lined with bisphenol A. It makes it uh, nonstick. And so that's why we got to be really careful uh, with the cans. If I'd rather you eat fresh fruits and vegetables or frozen fruits and vegetables and not so much to can. So you're trying to lose weight and you're eating cans of beans and it may be working somewhat, but you may not be getting the full effect. It, it, nothing else just for weight loss. Research suggests caution is warranted when handling receipts, even if you only hold them for long enough to put them in your wallet. A uh, study in the analytical and bio, bioanalytical chemistry, there's a, another journal, amazing how many journals are out there, isn't there? Found that 13 thermal printing uh, papers analyzed, 11 of them contained bisphenol A. So just assume it has bisphenol A on it you're, until you, you know otherwise. Holding a paper for five seconds was enough to transfer the BPA in a person's skin. The amount of BPA transferred increased by 10 times if their fingers were wet or if they were greasy. Because, again, bisphenol A is fat-soluble, which means it dissolves in fat. Now, there's laws being passed in a, in, in a dozen states banning BPA from a variety of products, including things like uh, children, children's food, uh, children's toys, bottles, sippy cups. Connecticut is the only state that I know of as of this point that's banned it from the receipts. That being said, how do you know? You're in Connecticut and you, you, you go to a place and it's a receipt. How, is this company, this little mom and pop shop, going to know exactly that they got bisphenol A, bisphenol A, BPA-free receipts? So just assume it's there, for the, unless told otherwise. Other hazardous chemicals that are in a fast food packaging. We're talking about chemicals that are being exposed into your body today, and we're talking about fast food now. We've got a lot to cover. Research shows that there are things called perfluorocarboxylates. We'll call them PFCs. How about that? Make it easy for you. PFCs, infertility, can be one of them. Now, the, these PFCs are used in nonstick food wrappers and takeout boxes. I don't know if you remember, if you're old enough, but if you would have gotten food wrapped in a piece of paper from a restaurant, it would stick to the paper years ago. Pizza would stick to the boxes. I used to deliver pizza. I graduated college. I had no patience. I had this little tiny office, and I was actually a pizza boy at night making money to pay my rent during my office hours. And my biggest fear was this, that I would deliver pizza to a patient, and I would be embarrassed, and I would say, hello, Malad, nice to see you, here's your pizza, and I'll see you Tuesday at the office. So <laughs> luckily, I never did. And it was actually a big fear of mine, but I never did. But I was a struggling young doctor, and I had to do what I had to do to make some money, so pizza was the way. But I remember the cans, we'd have to scrape the sauce out of the pan with, with, out of the can with a big spatula. Because they said if you know scrape the can for every three cans, it was enough for one pizza. And I totally got that. And the pizza boxes, the, the, if the cheese hit the box, it would stick. Now, it doesn't do that anymore. Why is that? These PFCs. So the PFCs can cause some real serious problems. Uh, one study, infertility. Uh, PFOs is another type of uh, chemical, nonstick chemical. So PFOs increase the risk of infertility anywhere from 70 to 134%. While another one, PFOAs, was linked to 60 to 154 percent increase in the risk of infertility. So here you are, you're trying to do the right thing, but you're eating fast food that's wrapped in these wrappers. You're eating pizza, and the boxes are lined with these chemicals, and you can't figure out why you're having problems getting pregnant. Now, when I first started in practice, periodically it would happen. You'd find somebody who couldn't make babies, boys and girls, and I see it now on a regular basis. And we've, this whole cottage industry and healthcare has popped up in fertility clinics because so many people have these problems. What changed in the past 30 years? Well, a lot of these chemicals, these chemicals were being exposed to. And a lot of people now order fast food or go out to lunch. I don't. I usually take my food. Or if I do go out, I usually go to a restaurant and meet somebody for lunch. But I don't get food that's wrapped up or in boxes or anything. Number one, it's a heck of a lot cheaper. If you're doing natural foods, like I, I usually have a salad at least once a day. If you're not eating at least a salad a day, you have to have one, one meal a day of raw food and salad's the easiest one. I'm going to recommend you take, I'm going to recommend everybody take supplements and you can take Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. And if you want those, those are on my website, drjoesposito.com, drjoe.com, or just Google Dr. Joe. We're going to talk more about supplements in a second. I didn't realize it was coming up on a break. Uh, folks, the website is there 24 hours a day, drjoe.com. 
Uh, feel free to uh, send me questions. If you have them, send them to the website, drjoe.com. I'm more than happy to answer your questions. But my books, my articles, my podcasts, all on the website, drjoe.com. Hey, listen, I have to go to break. Do me a favor. Tell your friends about the show. Don't go anywhere. We've got a lot more to talk about. We'll be right back. Got a lot more to talk about. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. So glad you could spend a little time with me today. A little uh, different show today. We're talking about chemicals that you're exposing yourself to every single day that can be adversely affecting your health. And uh, if, if the first time you're joining us, I'm Dr. Joe, board certified in chiropractic, orthopedics, pain management, double board certified in nutrition, BS in nutrition, retired dietitian. Uh, this show is the, as far as I know, the number one health and re- wellness radio broadcast in the world right now and uh, turning it into a TV show very soon, which is kind of fun too. So a lot of good information we share with you because I want you to get well and stay well. I want to be the person that helps you achieve those goals. So we, we, right before the break, we were talking about fast food packaging and the chemicals that are coating the wrappers, the boxes, and what's happening to them and some of this, what's happening to you. So we talked about infertility, thyroid disease, study published in the journal Environmental Health Perspectives found that these chemicals found in these uh, packagings can damage your thyroid. Individuals with the highest levels of these concentrations, concentration of these chemicals, were more than twice as likely to report thyroid conditions as those who had the lowest levels. Cancer, PFOA, one of these chemicals they use to line the boxes and, and, and packagings, has been associated with tumors in at least four different organs in animal tests, the liver, the pancreas, the testicles, and the mammary glands in rats. And it's associated with an increased risk in prostate cancer in plant workers who work in the plants that make this stuff. The EPA has ruled uh, PFCs are likely carcinogens, and that becomes a problem. Immune problems. Several studies by scientists in Sweden indicate that PFCs, these chemicals uh, that are lining the cans, uh, lining the boxes and wrappers, have an adverse effect on your immune system. Increased low-density lipoprotein cholesterol levels. So you're thinking your cholesterol is, your bad cholesterol is high because you're eating the bad food. Well, the answer is yes. The oxidized cholesterol can become a problem. But in a study in the archives of pediatric and adolescent medicine found that children and teens with higher PFOA levels had higher levels of total cholesterol and the bad cholesterol, while uh, the chemicals... Uh, associated with an increase in total cholesterol, including both low and uh, low cholesterol and the good cholesterol. So bottom line is that these chemicals can actually adversely affect your cholesterol levels. Wow. There's some crazy stuff. Who would have thought the rapper was causing problems, right? And not the rapper, who, the guys who sing, by the way. Soda ages you as much as smoking, researchers claim. Research published in the American Journal of Public Health claims that drinking soda on a daily basis ages your immune cells to a degree similar to that of a daily smoking habit. How insane is that? To reach this conclusion, the researchers studied the effect of sugary sodas and the human telomeres. Now, what telomeres are on your your genes, not your not your corduroys or your, your denims, but in your genes, you have a little tail on it called a telomere. And this telomere, when you're young, is very long and very active. And as you get older, the telomere actually starts to shrink. So every, new ce- every cell in your body has this. And the very tip uh, of each arm of the chromosome, there's the telomere. And according to Time magazine, shorter telomeres have been linked to health uh, detriments like shorter lifespans and more stress, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and cancer. They found that people who drank more sugary soda tended to have shorter telomeres. Drinking, ready for this, eight ounces a day corresponded to a 1.9 year in additional aging. And drinking 20 ounces was about 4.6 years in aging. How insane is that? How many people have a soda every day? Raise your hands. How many people have a 20 ounce soda every day? Raise your hands. Or sugary drink. I shouldn't even say soda, but a sugary drink. Isn't that insane? So from a biological standpoint, 4.6 years older than you really are. That's nuts. The authors pointed out exactly the same association found between telomere length and smoking. Extremely high dose of sugar that we can put into your body within seconds of drinking sugary beverages is uniquely toxic to metabolism. So it's actually speeding up the aging process. Pretty wild, isn't it? Folks, if you have a healthcare question, I'm going to open up the lines. I got so much to cover, but I, I don't want to give you, I don't want to cut off the lines either. So, if you have a healthcare question, give us a call 844 44 Dr. Joe, 844 44 D R J O E. But again, I got a lot to cover today. 
Not so sweet truth about artificial sweeteners. I love this part because I talk about how bad artificial sweeteners are all the time. And here's more studies that we can put in the Dr. Joe was right column. Another toxic inherent in processed food is artificial sweeteners. I discussed this so many times in my past shows. Study published in the journal Nature concluded that artificial sweeteners like glucose, uh, artificial sweeteners induce glucose intolerance by altering the microbial balance in your gut. It changes the bacteria in your gut. This in turn raises your risk of diabetes. Other studies have found similar results raising questions about the wisdom of recommending artificial sweeteners for diabetics. Dr. Joe was right again. One study uh, published in PLOS One found that uh, chronic lifetime exposure to aspartame commencing in utero, so if a mother is exposing herself to this, produces changes in blood glucose parameters. The researchers used a dose of aspartame uh, to, that approximate the daily intake that most people have in the U.S., about 50 uh, milligrams. Um, not only was the aspartame found to increase insulin sensitivity, it wrought havoc on brain function. So once again, folks, you really need to cut out the artificial sweeteners. Aspartame breaks down to three components, aspartic acid, phenyl phenylalanine, and methyl esters. And what happens is, the aspartic acid is an excitotoxin. It causes the brain to fire faster than it's supposed to. And when it does, it literally burns out your brain cells. And so aspartame, they're saying it can affect your glucose, but also can affect your brain. Now, countless studies, and every time I read them, it comes up with the same results, which I know is just wild for some of you to think that, but wait a minute, it's artificial sweetener. All right, hold on, let me give you a little more information. The insulin resistance, that's what happens when the cells are not able to open up and allow sugar to come into the cells. The cells are now not utilizing the sugar. They become resistant to insulin, essentially opening them up and bringing sugar in. And what happens is this sugar is now floating around in your blood. And that's why diabetics have high blood sugar. Well, that sugar becomes an acid. And that, well, sugar is an acid. It doesn't become an acid. And it can irritate your blood vessels. And when it irritates your blood vessels, it can cause a, essentially scratching on the artery walls. And now the body has to lay down a scab to protect that. And we lay down a scab, we call that cholesterol buildup. So now sugar can lead to cholesterol buildup. How wild is that? That's pretty crazy stuff. And then it leads, of course, type 2 diabetes. And then we give you outside insulin sources, and that can make the problem worse as well. I'm going to talk about weight gain in just a second. Hang on. I know you're excited. Male mice fed aspartame experienced significantly higher weight gain compared to a control group. The women, didn't, the women mice didn't seem to have that problem. But deposits of visceral fat, this is the dangerous fatty deposits that build up around your organs, were associated with an increased risk of heart disease in humans, increased in aspartame fed mice of both sexes. Aspartame fed mice of both sexes had elevated fasting glucose levels compared to non consumers, non consumers of, I love that statement, non consumers of aspartame. They're rats. Whatever you fed them, they eat. Another study in 2007 published in Diabetes Care reported similar results. So, what are we saying here? If you're a diabetic, one of the worst things you can do is do the things that everybody's telling you to do, which is use artificial sweeteners. So the, the aspartame alters the bacteria in your colon. And one study, again, clinical, uh, clinical and experimental rheumatology, revealed potential risk between aspartame and irritable bowel syndrome. If you're thinking, but Dr. Joe, I don't use, I don't use the aspartame. I use sucralose. When we come back, I'm going to tell you how dangerous that is. Folks, got to go to a break. If you have a healthcare question, 844-44-DR-JOE. Uh, 844-44-DRJOE. That number rings through to my offices when I'm not on the air. We have offices in the Atlanta area, Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. Love to have you as a patient, by the way. Uh, we're a chiropractic team, a holistic chiropractic work uh, team. And uh, my website, all day, every day, drjoe.com. Hey, don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. Thanks for spending a little time with us. Uh, if you have a question, give us a call, 844-44-DR-JOE. Uh, folks, hang on. A, a, a lot of times folks call up. I know we had a real good question. Lisa one, I had a question about anxiety, uh, but we lost her there. So if you, if you give us a call, please hang on. I try to get to you. I promise you. And I know sometimes it seems like forever, but I, I know you're there. I have a little board in front of us here. Brand new screen, too. 
So, Lisa, let me answer your question about anxiety, and then I'll, I'll take some other calls. I want to get into uh, other chemicals that you're exposing yourself to every day that are causing problems, and then what you need to do about it. So I'm not going to leave you hanging. I'm going to give you answers to all the things we're talking about. Anxiety oftentimes is related to a digestive issue. So much research has come out in the past few years, and I've been talking about this for 35 years, so again, Dr. Joe was right. But your digestive system and your brain are linked very closely. And if the digestive system isn't working properly, it can affect your body. Now, anxiety can occur because you have something going wrong with your body. You may have rapid heart rate, high blood pressure, and the body is saying, hey, something's wrong. So it makes you anxious, uh, kind of trying to get your attention. So what I find when patients have acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating, they may not be digesting their food properly, specifically proteins. Proteins break down into something called amino acids. Now, the amino acid tryptophan becomes serotonin in your brain. And serotonin is a neurotransmitter that helps you focus. It deals with anxiety. So many times I find when people have anxiety issues, they have a digestive problem. They may have taken a lot of antibiotics or they may have taken small amounts of antibiotics over a long period of time. They may have been doing things like artificial sweetener, which can affect the bacteria in your colon. They might be doing things like sucralose, which we were just about to cover, which can affect the bacteria in your colon. So whenever I have an anxiety patient come in, I always check to see if they have acid reflux or heartburn. We may have to massage or adjust or pull the stomach down away from the diaphragm. And when we do that, many times that does wonders for the, digest for the digestive system. So much of digestion can be a physical problem, not necessarily a chemical problem. As a chiropractor, of course, my team of doctors, we check the nerve supply coming from the spine going to the digestive system. Because so many people think of chiropractors as back pain doctors. And we're really good at back pain and neck pain and headaches. But we also adjust the, nerve, adjust the bones that may be pinching nerves going to the organs. And this is why so many people have these what they would call miracle results when they go to chiropractors. My gosh, my asthma got better. My uh, digestive system got better. My love life suddenly came back online again. Because when you pinch a nerve, not only is it affecting pain, it's affecting the nerves that control the organs. So we get the digestive system working. We got to get the nervous system working. And then many patients I have with anxiety, depression, ADD, they just don't have a good diet. So the minimum amount of nutrients you should be putting in your body is uh, Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. They're two powders. They taste great. I mix a scoop of each together. And they're powders. I put it in a, a jar, shake it up with some uh, coconut milk or almond milk. And I like that. I like that flavor of coconut or almond milk. Uh, I don't do animal products. And then I drink it. It's sitting right here in front of me in the studio. I'll carry it with me all the time. And that stuff is just amazing. And I tell you, I, you could, I can go on and on and on. Not so many uh, testimonials we get every week, every day. Dr. Joe, I've been taking the Super Greens Essential Source. I have so much more energy. Uh, my anxiety is getting better. My digestion is better. I'm going to the bathroom better. I'm sleeping better. Because you're giving the body nutrients that it probably never had before. And it's so exciting, relatively inexpensive. And if you want information about that, also with anxiety too, I'd recommend the B vitamin, Dr. Joe's B, B complex. That's on the website as well. And many times in cases like that, we'd probably get that person on an adrenal supplement and or probiotics, good bacteria. And all those supplements are on my website, drjoe.com. Also available on Amazon. But folks, if you don't do anything else, please at least give your body the nutrients that it needs. But sucralose, I'm going to cover that. Then I'm going to get your calls. Christine and George, I see you there. I'm going to get there in just a second. Uh, the, the sucralose is what's called a chlorinated hydrocarbon. And when that gets into the body, it can totally destroy the bacteria in your colon. So if you're doing artificial sweeteners, I'm going to get on my knees begging you, please stop doing that. Study published in Journal of Toxicity and Environmental Health found that sucralose reduces the amount of good bacteria in your intestines by up to 50%. Imagine wiping out 50% of your immune system, 50% of your digestive capabilities, 50% of the, the, the bacteria that break down food to send nutrients up into the brain. So folks, I'm begging you, please, when it comes to chemicals, stop getting fast food in, in containers and boxes and wraps. Please cut out the artificial sweetener. Stop using the hand sanitizers. So much to cover there. Got a lot more to cover, but I don't want to leave my folks hanging too long. All right, let's go to the callers. Christine, how can we make your day better? Nope. Oh, let's try it here. You there, Christine? 
Hello. Yes, I'm here. Okay, Christine, how can we help you? Uh, well, my mom has a trigeminal neuralgia uh-huh. for a few years, and she lives she lives in severe pain. Uh-huh. And she's been prescribed um, pain numbness medicines for her nerves and Tegretol. Sure. But now the doctor's asking for a surgery. Sure. Um, I just want to know what best we can do for her. The trigeminal nerve comes out of the skull. It's what's called a cranial nerve. And most of the nerves come out of your spine. They go down your, down your spine and come out through the vertebrae. The trigeminal nerve actually comes out through a hole in your skull. And in every trigeminal, trigeminal neuralgia case I've ever seen, and I've been doing this for 35 years now, the skull is actually shifted somewhat. So we usually adjust or put the skull back into place. Very simple. It may take several treatments to get it to stay there. But from a chiropractic standpoint, that's what we would do. I'd also check, uh, check her blood work to make sure she doesn't have an infection. And if there's an infection, we'd get her on Dr. Joe's immune booster. Or we've got Dr. Joe's uh, seasonal booster, seasonal tonic, and wellness booster. These are things that can help fight infections and help stimulate the immune function. And so I would get her on some supplements. I'd get her on super greens and essential source because I think everybody should be taking that. And we want to move the bones in the skull around if we need to. So if you want to make an appointment, you can call that number, 844-44-DR-JOE. We'll get her set up as soon as possible. How about that? Okay? Thanks, Christine. I got to run. Folks, if you have a healthcare question, 844-44-DR-JOE. And if you want to make an appointment, 844-44-DR-JOE is the number that rings through to my offices. If you want to get the supplements, Super Greens, Essential Source, a Seasonal Tonic, a, a Wellness Booster, the Probiotic, all of those, I got so many supplements. They're on the website, drjoe.com, also available on Amazon. Hey, don't go anywhere. Tell your friends about the show. I'll be right back. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. I am so happy you're spending time with me. What we're talking about today are chemicals in, we started with fast food, chemicals that are in wrappers, that are in boxes, that can adversely affect your thyroid, your immune system, can uh, maybe stimulate not cause cancer necessarily, but maybe if you have cancer predisposition, it may make it worse. Uh, Mood swings, a lot of serious things. So it's not just the food you're eating. It's even the wrappers that it comes in. And then we were talking about sucralose and how sucralose can adversely, and artificial sweeteners, aspartame and sucralose, can adversely affect the bacteria in your colon and how that can be so dangerous. So so many of you are doing things every single day that you think are totally innocent. The wrapper around your hamburger. Hamburger you shouldn't be eating anyway. But the wrapper, how about uh, hand sanitizer? We got some sitting here in the studio. I don't touch it. I know better. I hope you do too. Because studies have shown that soap and water works just as well as hand sanitizers. If you don't have access to soap and water, and I understand sometimes that happens, uh, you can make your own hand sanitizer. Any type of alcohol, including like vodka or rubbing alcohol, witch hazel, and maybe a little bit of tea tree oil. Mix it together, you got your own hand sanitizer right there without the dangerous toxic chemical side effects that occur with those endocrine-disrupting hormone chemicals that are in there. I'm going to talk about how we got rid of trans fat and how excited I am about that, but what we replaced it with might be worse. Then we're going to go through a whole list of things you can do to avoid toxic chemicals in your life. So I'm going to make you hold on. In the business, we call that a tease. We're going to tease you to hold on because I want to talk about so many different things. What do I got listed here? I got like 20 different things that you can do to avoid toxic chemicals in your life every single day. But first, we have to go to the callers. Uh, let's see. How can we? We've got a new phone system, so you got to bear with me for a second here. Well, I'll do it this way. George, how can we make your day better? Well, let me spell it. S-C-L-E-R-O-D-E-R-M-A. I just learned of it from a friend in California that has scleroderma. Scleroderma, what correct. Okay, I don't know anything about it except I've gone online to look it up, but I hear you, and I believe what you're saying, that you might might be able to help me help her. Uh, yeah, well, your friend has it. Okay, yeah. Well, scleroderma is an autoimmune disease. We're really not sure what causes it. But it's an inflammatory reaction, and it can be patches on the skin, crusty patches on the skin. But it can also be a systemic scleroderma that can adversely affect the organs as well. So right away, whenever I think autoimmune disease, what can we do to get the immune system normalized? So first steps in any type of autoimmune condition or anything you want, anything that has to do with your immune system, is you got to stop putting stress on the immune system. So from a nutritional standpoint, the two things, two top things you have to do is give up dairy products and give up all wheat. That'll be breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas. Those are the two biggie inflammatory conditions. Hopefully, she's going to give up all the artificial sweeteners as well, which everyone should anyway. Now, you can do stevia. We got Pamela holding on about xylitol. Pamela, I'm going to tell you in a second that xylitol is okay. Um, But you can use other sweeteners. Or better yet, once you start 
changing your diet and eating healthy foods, you're not going to be craving those sweets. So the sugar is going to be big on the immune system. Uh, the wheat and the dairy, uh, which are also sugars as well as other components, that would help tremendously. Stabilizing the immune system. I personally take, especially during the winter, uh, Dr. Joe's Seasonal Tonic and Dr. Joe's Wellness Booster. Dr. Joe's Wellness Booster is uh, echinacea, pau diarco, olive leaf extract, a bunch of different herbs that can help normalize the immune system. And then make sure her digestive system is working. Is she having bowel movements at least once a day, preferably twice a day? If that's not happening, from a chiropractic standpoint, I would check the nerves in the low back because those are the nerves that go to the bowels. I would see if she has acid reflux. If she is, I'd probably adjust or massage the stomach down away from the diaphragm. And then always get her on Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. That's the, if nothing else, the Super Greens, the Essential Source is the core nutrients that I believe everyone should be on every day. Is that enough, George? <laughs> okay, so it, uh, can it be cured right quickly? Well, the bottom line is, as doctors, we can never say we can cure anything. I can tell you, I've okay. seen scleroderma patients that we get on super greens and essential source, we get their bacteria normalized, we open up the nerve supply, and in most of them, they get amazing results, more than even expected. So that I can tell you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Very George. helpful. Thank you. Appreciate the call. And I did promise Pam. You still there, Pam? Pamela? Yes. Okay. Hi. How are you today? I'm well, how can we make your day better? Okay, I was recommended xylitol by a gentleman at a health food store years ago to replace and try to get rid of sugar. Sure. And you mentioned the others, so this seems to be okay, and it sweetens, and just want to see what your feedback was on xylitol. Absolutely. The theory behind any of these, these sweetener substitutes, even aspartame and sucralose, is that they taste sweet, but when they get into the colon, they don't get absorbed. Now, mm. the truth is they all do get absorbed somewhat. Now, the good part is the xylitol is not going to give you any adverse effects. Unless you do too much of it, then you'll get diarrhea. If you get diarrhea, you did too much. It's not going to kill you. Uh, the artificial sweeteners, the, the sucralose, the aspartame, the acylfame K, these really concern me. Uh, they are so – every study that's coming out is just like, oh, my gosh, they're the worst thing that ever happened. So I would say xylitol is okay, stevia is okay, um, and just if you start getting diarrhea, you just took too much. But I'm okay with xylitol. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Appreciate the call. Thanks, Pamela. I can't give a simple answer, can I, Ahmad? I just can't say yes or no, right? <laughs> Some things just aren't black and white, I guess. That's yeah. right. i got to go into this big, deep stuff here. But I guess that's why the show's so popular. That's why we're number one, because number one. people like this the show. The best. The best, yes. That's because of, cause of Ahmad. The board op right there, man. My engineer, Ahmad. So uh, we're talking about uh, chemicals that you're being exposed to that are dangerous to your body. Uh, and I talked a while ago, uh, years ago, I was talking about trans fat, how we have to get them, we have to stop using them. And, and the process, the law has been passed now, it's fading out, which is good. But I want to address this. If you listened to the show earlier, uh, and if you didn't listen to the whole show, I know sometimes you just tune in right away, we usually try to take one topic and cover it for the whole length of the show. So if you need to catch up, go to my website, drjoe.com. This show will be archived along with hundreds or well over a thousand hours of other shows. We have videos. Some people are visual learners, and now we're taping. I do, a, I, I do a show as well. I do a one-hour recorded show as well as this show, and that show we're videotaping now, and that's going to be on my website very soon too. Um, it's going to be on Over the Top Network, which is a, a TV network, and uh, we're going to put that on my website as well so you can watch the shows because some people are visual learners, and when I do live lectures, I videotape them. I'm do Well, we're doing everything we can to get you this information in whatever form works best for you. Break time already? I've got so much to cover. All right, folks, we come back. A little tease again. I'm going to talk about what's worse than trans fats. It's what we're doing right now. And then I got well over 20 different tips on how to avoid toxic chemicals. If you have a healthcare question, 844 44 Dr. Joe. If you want to make an appointment to come see us, we have offices in the Atlanta area, Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge, 844 44 Dr. Joe. If you want to get the supplements, Super Greens, Essential Source, my books, uh, all on the website, drjoe.com, also available on Amazon. But, folks, at least. Super Green's an essential source. You'll be very happy that you did. Got to go to a break. Tell your friends about the show. I'll be right back. Break. Tell your friends about the show. Hey, folks. Dr. Joe here. So glad you could spend a little time with me today. Good show today. But I guess all the shows are good. Uh, we're talking about chemicals that, you, that are adversely affecting your health that you had no idea were causing problems. And so you're thinking to yourself, but Dr. Joe, I'm eating better. 
every day I go out to lunch and I get a, you know, I get a sandwich and it's an avocado sandwich with tomatoes and sprouts and lettuce and, and it's just wonderful. And I get it wrapped in a nice little wrapper that they give me and, and then I'll, I'll have myself a diet soda because I don't do any sugar. And the can itself is lined with bisphenol A. The artificial sweeteners in the soda are adversely affecting your health. The wrapping that the sandwich came in is adversely affecting your health. Wow. Scary, isn't it? It's real easy, though. It really, I'm going to cover a lot of things of what you can do. Uh, let me cover what, what, what's going on now in, in, in restaurant world. Uh, they stopped using par- hydrogenated oil. That's been banned, and that's good, and it's phasing out, which makes me very excited. So what happened was they, the restaurants had to use a different type of oil that's cheap. So they switched to things like peanut oil, corn oil, soy oil. Corn and soy oil are usually genetically modified. In fact, I don't know of any that aren't, but maybe there is something out there. I don't know. And they use it in frying. Now, these oils uh, degrade into toxic oxidation products when heated. And here's the thing with cholesterol. The cholesterol floating around in your blood is not dangerous to a point. I mean, if you have too much, of course. But that's not the big issue. It's when the cholesterol oxidizes. It changes its molecular structure, and then it starts to stick to the artery walls. Well, when you're eating these oxidated oils, because when you heat them, they oxidize, they can increase your risk of sticking to the walls of your arteries. In Norway, one, one research group is trying to assess the effects on health workers in restaurants. And this is what they said. The volatile compounds are very hard to study because they're not real stable. They're hard to isolate. One thing they did is simply to show that the products exist. There's a whole category called aldehydes, and these are very worrisome to we nutrition experts. Group doing the research on animals found that at fairly low levels of exposure, these aldehydes in animals cause tremendous inflammation, which is related to heart disease. They oxidize the low-density lipoproteins, which are thought that the low-density lipoproteins then become dangerous, and there's a clear link to heart disease. There's also some evidence that these aldehydes are particular to Alzheimer's disease. We didn't know what caused Alzheimer's years ago. Research now is showing more and more that it's a circulatory issue. We're not getting the proper circulation up to the brain. The brain doesn't get the oxygen nutrients that it needs, and now we start to, it starts to malfunction. Researchers found that cyclic aldehydes cause toxic shock in animals through gastric damage, so they destroy their digestive system. Not a fun thing either. So the FDA gets rid of trans fats. Restaurants begin using regular, uh, regular liquid oils instead. They're the cheapest ones they can find. Now, the FDA didn't consider any of the literature about the oxidation products. They just pulled the bad ones off the market. But what's happening is they're getting replaced with just as bad or worse ones. Another reason why you should learn how to make your own foods. Now, if you don't know how to cook, I grew up poor. My father was disabled. Grew up in Hoboken, New Jersey. Uh, didn't know we were poor. Nobody told us. Everybody around us was poor. But we made all our own meals at home. So I just watched my father cook. I watched my mother cook, and I learned how to cook. I remember going to college, and the first week I was there, I started making dinner for my roommates. My roommates looked at me, and they said, where'd you learn how to do that? I said, I don't know. I thought everyone did. You know, you only know what you know. And so my first book that I wrote, it's called uh, Eating Right for the Health of It. I wrote specifically for you. Uh, the, the, the culinary challenge people out there. Sounds politically correct, culinary challenged. And it tells you how to change your diet. And then the second half of the book is just well over 200 recipes. And it's easy, simple things. So I really want you to start trying to get your own food. If you don't want to prepare food, if you're a cooking illiterate, at least have a salad every day. Get a glass bowl, throw some organic lettuce in there, maybe some cucumbers and tomatoes. Buy yourself an organic salad dressing. Add some nutritional yeast, which is a great source of B vitamins. And have a salad at least once a day. Throw some chickpeas in there if you want, some pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and make yourself a meal. So there, one of your three meals is done. Breakfast, I always have Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. You should too. It's a reason why my brain works as well as it does, and it's kind of cool because people think I'm about 15 years younger than I am. I like that. I have no problem with that. What's your secret, everyone says. I have no secret. I'll tell you what it is. Avoid the bad things. Eat the good things. Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source loaded with vitamins, minerals, nutrients, probiotics, prebiotics, digestive enzymes, the minimum amount of nutrients you should be getting every single day. So I start with Super Greens and Essential Source. They're available on my website, drjoe.com, also available on Amazon. Then I'll usually have maybe a piece of fruit or two for breakfast. Sometimes if I want to get really crazy, I'll have a little oatmeal. 
And, it, and then for snack, I usually have at my office, I have uh, a couple of bags of different types of nuts, walnuts, almonds, pecans, pistachios. I'll have maybe two handfuls of those. Not more because I don't want to make a meal out of it. I just want to, you know, curb my appetite. Lunch is usually a big salad. And then dinner varies. I'll go out to dinner if I need to. I'll make dinner. You know, dinner is more flexible for me. But you'll lo probably lose weight. You'll feel better. You'll have more energy. And then if you have specific needs, if you're tired all the time, maybe it's an adrenal problem. We get you on Dr. Joe's adrenal support. Maybe if you're eating a lot of cooked foods, we've got to get you on Dr. Joe's digestive enzymes. If you're having circulatory issues, Dr. Joe's nitric oxide. I've created the supplements that you need. That most people need. Yeah, we have supplements for specific cases. But generally speaking, if you go to my website and look at, at the store, we have the supplements that most people need. That's why I created them. And the store is right there, drjoe.com, also available on Amazon. And start putting out the minimum amount of nutrients that you need. If you're under stress, if you drink a lot of coffee, if your bag's under your eyes, you're tired all the time, you might want to look at some adrenal support. Now, the thing with supplements is this. It's not going to happen immediately. You drink a cup of coffee, you get high. You take a supplement, it takes time for the body to rebuild its stores. So give it a couple of weeks, maybe a month at least, minimum amount, and really do it. And then see what happens. And you'll say, why didn't I do this sooner? Because as far, as far as I'm concerned, you have to have a normally functioning nervous system, a normally functioning digestive system, and good nutrition. It's not hard. It's actually really easy. And so why not give it a shot? All right, and that's on the website, drjoe.com. Archive radio shows there. Oh, sign up for my newsletter. I always forget to say this. Sign up for the newsletter when you're on the website. We never give out your information, and we, we send out a lot of good information. Sometimes I'll do live lectures, and if somebody's sponsoring it, they'll sell tickets to the lecture. But I always insist that if I, if I can, get free tickets for my newsletter people. And that's how you get them, become a member of the newsletter. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Make sure you do that as well. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. We want to get the information to you. Folks, got to go to a break. If you have a healthcare question, 844-44-DR-JOE. Again, my website, drjoe.com. When we come back, we're going to just rapid fire tips that you can do to avoid toxic chemicals. And you'll be amazed how easy it is to get the good food in your body, supplements, of course, and good food, get the bad food out of your diet, and how to get the body functioning the optimum that it can. Because I want you to get well and stay well. Hey, tell your friends about the show. I'll be right back. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. I am so glad you're spending some time with me today. Good show today. We're talking about chemicals and how they adversely affect your health. And so many times people will come to me and say, well, Dr. Joe, I'm eating right. You know, I changed my diet. I'm eating right. Gosh, I'm feeling great. I'm taking super greens. I'm taking Dr. Joe's essential source. Uh, blows me away. They just can't believe how well they're doing. And then we have to dig a little deeper. We go into round two of how to get you healthy. And a lot of things that uh, we talked about in sh the show today, and if you missed it, it's going to be on my website, drjoe.com, uh, are uh, going to be covered there. And you want to listen to it and also let your friends listen to it because there's so much information packed in these, these couple of hours that we spend together that you're not going to get it the first time. I, I get all the time. Well, Dr. Joe, you talk too fast. You need to slow down. Well, I got a lot to cover, but that's why I give you the opportunity to hear the shows over and over and over again. Also, my podcast on iTunes and uh, Stitcher and uh, uh, Google Play is for the health of it. So if you look that up, you can get my, my podcast there, too, and then you can binge listen if you want. You can binge listen on my website, too, drjoe.com. So tips to avoid toxic chemicals. And by the way, if I didn't get you on the air today, I know a couple of people I couldn't get to. Um, go to my website, drjoe.com. Send me your questions. I'm more than happy to answer your questions for you. You can order the supplements there, my books. Uh, again, binge listen all you want. Read articles that we've written. Uh, it's a really good source of information. A lot of people spend a lot of time there because their goal is to get well and stay well. And I, I give that to you. And it's all on the website. And all the information is no charge. Nice little deal we have going for you. Now, we live in a pretty toxic world. You clearly can, can't steer clear of all chemicals. I, um, I uh, was uh, at a, a hotel. Couldn't think of a word there for a second. A bed and breakfast. And, I mean, just chemicals everywhere. The, the perfumes and the cleaners and just a bunch of junk everywhere. So you really want to stay away from that the best you possibly can. And it's practice. This is not something you're going to master. You're not going to master all the health tips I give you in one shot. It's going to take some time for you to master these things. In fact, I went up to North Carolina, and I listened to a friend of mine, absolutely one of my favorite musicians in the world, Cy Timmons. And a lot of you, uh, if you're in the Atlanta area, might remember that name. He's up in North Carolina, by the way. He's, uh, he's at the old Edwards Inn. 
and went up there to uh, listen to Cy, and I walked in, and I hadn't seen him in about five years. And he remembered who I was, and we talked. He loves the show, and we're going on and on. And uh, I said, so what do you do with your free time? He's, he's, you know, he's not as young as he used to be. And he said, well, I like to do gardening, and if not, I'm practicing my guitar. And I'm thinking, this guy's been playing guitar unbelievably skillfully, if that's the right words, um, for, I don't know, I, I've been following him for 40 years. Blown away on how talented this man is. But what an impact this made. I'm practicing my guitar. What are you practicing for? You know it already. No, you don't. So when it comes to health care, I want you to practice doing these things. And you're going to slip up. And I get it. You know, Dr. Joe, I had ice cream the other day. How'd you feel? I felt awful. I love this one. I get people to stop drinking. Well, I was at a party and I just had a glass of wine. One glass. How'd you feel? I felt dehydrated. I felt bloated. I couldn't sleep well. I was having weird dreams. Good lesson to learn. So practice getting healthy on a daily basis, like the greats do. I remember I was, um, Larry Bird, they did an interview with him right after the Celtics won, won the championships. And he was practicing foul shots the day after the championship. And a reporter went up to him and said, what are you doing? You just won the championship. He said, I'm practicing. That's why we won the championship. So practicing health is a good thing. And, and again, we, we are exposed to chemicals all day, every day. You can limit your exposure, and that's what I want you to do. And I want you to be healthy. If you're healthy, you're able to deal with when these chemicals when they come into your, into your life. So in the case of bisphenol A, you, it, like we talked about, if you have a hand sanitizer, which is going to strip your skin and allow greater penetration of chemicals, you touch a BPA-containing receipt, let's say, and then you have some greasy food because bisphenol A is a, is a chemical we talked about earlier that's fat-soluble. Combination of triclosane, BPA, and grease leads to maximum absorption, and this can cause some really harmful effects in minutes. And there's countless other chemicals you have to be aware of. So you want to minimize your exposure to most of them, uh, the most well-researched ones anyway. And I promise you, two, three, four years from now, we'll get together, and I'll do another show on this topic, and we're going to come up with a whole new bunch of chemicals that we're being exposed to that we didn't even know were problems. Microwaves came out. We didn't know it was a problem. Now we realize microwaves are unbelievable how dangerous they are. You put plastic in there. The plastic releases these toxic chemicals similar to bisphenol A. They get into the system. They're endocrine disruptors. Very dangerous. So if you have a microwave, don't use it. But if you still have to use it, and I wish you wouldn't, don't ever put plastic in the microwave. Anything plastic, even microwave-safe plastic, I ain't buying it. Glass or ceramic, that's it. Don't put metal, of course, in there. And don't even cover it with plastic. That becomes an issue as well because just simply covering the food with plastic becomes an issue. So you want to buy and eat as much raw, organic produce as you can. If you're going to eat animal products, and I wish you wouldn't, but if you're going to eat animal products, organic only. Before 1980, we didn't have to worry about steroids, hormones, chemicals, pesticides, herbicides, genetically modified foods, and now we do. It's there. It's ubiquitous. It's everywhere. So please, if you're going to eat animal products, organic only, better yet, don't eat them. Again, if you're going to do milk, make sure it's organic as well, any type of animal product. Eat mostly raw, fresh, whole foods. Like I said, super greens an essential source in the morning, maybe a little bit of oatmeal. I just take cold oatmeal. I don't even heat it or anything. Maybe add some raisins to it, maybe a little almond milk, and that's a meal right there. Mine's get crazy, throw some walnuts or pistachios or almonds in there. You'll get really nuts. But that's enough. you don't need to eat a lot of food as long as you're eating super high concentration of nutrients. Your body is not hungry for food. It's hungry for nutrition. Remember that sentence. You're not hungry for food. You're hungry for nutrition. So anything you eat should be super high concentration of nutrients, and you're going to eat a whole lot less food. You're going to save a whole lot of money. You'll be blown away how much money you save by eating a better diet. You'll feel better. You'll probably live longer. You'll have more energy. You'll go to the doctor less often. You'll go to the bathroom better. Your love life improves. Your sleep improves. There's no downside to doing this except one. All those bad foods taste really good. And I wish they didn't, but they do. Try to avoid canned foods. Like we said, if they're canned foods, try to do organic. But even the organic foods, sometimes they use bisphenol A in the lining. So fresh or frozen is going to be the best for you. And that's what I want you to start considering. Rather than eating conventional fish, they're so highly loaded with and contaminated with mercury and lead and polyvinyl chlorides. If you're going to eat fish, make sure it's wild caught. That's it. And no shellfish. When Moses wrote Leviticus, I don't know how many years ago that was. I'm not sure anybody does, but thousands of years ago. 
Moses wrote Leviticus, a, a book in the, in the Old Testament, and Moses said, don't eat shellfish. They have to have fins and scales and swim. So that leaves clams and oysters and bottom dwellers and shrimp, shark, eel, because they're scavengers. Now, those scavengers are eating things that are many times on the bottom of the, of, of the ocean floor or, the, or the, whatever lake they're on, and that's where the heavy chemicals are, the leads and the mercuries. So if you're going to eat fish, wild caught only. If you're going to take fish oil, I don't recommend you do. Krill oil is a much better choice if you want to get your omega-3 fatty acids. The best choice is algae oil. Somebody just sent me a message on Facebook the other day and said, thank you for telling me a way to get omega-3 fatty acids because I'm a vegan. Pretty cool. Folks, got to go to break. When we come back, I'm just going to rapid fire. I got so much more to cover and I only have one more segment. Go to my website if you want to get the Super Greens, the Essential Source, my books, the other supplements, the, the enzyme support, the adrenal support, the probiotics, the B-complex, a bunch of others, drjoe.com or just Google Dr. Joe. But Dr. Joe is easy, drjoe.com. Uh, also available on Amazon. Uh, sign up for my newsletter. Please do that, folks. Send out a lot of good information. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. And don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Go anywhere. We're going to be right Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. So glad we get to spend a little time with you today. All right, let me go rapid fire. We've got the last segment here. Uh, if, you, if, uh, if you're on hold, that's great. I'll try to get to you. If I didn't get to you today, if you have a question, some folks are a little shy to get on the air, go to my website, drjoe.com, and just send us your questions. I'm more than happy to answer your questions for you in any way we can. Uh, if you want to make an appointment to come see us in the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. Uh, you can just do that through the website at eight or or eight four 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 Doctor Joe, which rings through to my web to my office when I'm not on the air. Okay, and by the way, I, I got to say this because uh, I, I see this all the time in my office, and so many people don't know this. If you were ever in a car accident, if the car was damaged, you were damaged hundred percent of the time. I've never seen a car accident in all the thirty three years I've been well thirty five years I've been seeing patients where the occupants weren't damaged because your body is locked in with your seatbelt and your head snaps back and forth. And your head weighs 10 pounds. And when it whips around like that, you're going to get damaged. So even if the insurance company is saying, oh, no, it's only $500 worth of damage, $800 worth of damage, you weren't hurt. They don't have the, the skills to know that. I do. My team of doctors do. So car accident, folks, if you're ever in an accident, the sooner you can come see us, the better it's going to be. 844 dr joe or just drjoe.com. All right. Let's go through here. Uh, we talked about fish. Uh, receipts, always skip the receipts. If you have a receipt, try not to take it if you don't have to. If you have to take it, don't put it in your wallet. Maybe you have a separate envelope, or if you don't put it with your money, just get it out of your hands as quickly as you can. Buy products that come in glass bottles rather than plastic or cans. Chemicals can leach from the plastic, as I've told you a thousand times, and plastic lining in cans is a big issue. Be aware that even if something says BPA-free, typically they'll use something called BPS. BPS is also an endocrine disruptor. It just hasn't gotten all the press that BPA got yet. You'll be seeing BPA and BPS free soon because people like me are telling you BPS is not a good thing. Store your food in glass rather than plastic and avoid using plastic wrap. If you went into my pantry right now, you would see a shelf dedicated to nothing but glass jars. All sizes, tall, skinny, fat, short, wide. Because whenever I have a good jar and I think, can I use this jar again? Oh, it's, it's upcycling, of course. We're saving the jar from going into trash, but it's also good to store things. And I store everything. Because if you have ants and you have bugs, which everybody does, uh, you want to put it in glass jars. It keeps the bugs out. It keeps it fresher. And you're not going to get those plastics that are getting into the body. I'm going to take a call right now. i got so much more to cover. But let's see. Uh, JP, how can we make your day better? Uh, how's it going, Dr. Joe? I'm very well. How can we make your life easier? Uh, calling to get some information on uh, a person recovering from a stroke uh, and what are some of the best nutrients or what do we need to do to uh, get him back uh, active and get his energy and his weight up. Uh, take your, I'll listen to you uh, off the air. Thanks so much. Okay, thanks appreciate so much. Appreciate your information. Well, thank you. I appreciate the call. All right, stroke victims. Strokes are usually due to a piece of plaque. We talked about that earlier. Breaks off, floats around in your blood, goes up to your brain, blocks up a blood vessel. The brain is uh, uh, deprived of oxygen. Hypoxia sets in. You're not getting oxygen. And that part of the brain dies. Well, years ago, when somebody had a stroke, we assumed that once brain cells were dead, they were dead forever. And if you ever listen to my shows from even 10 or 15 years ago, well, maybe about 15 years ago, I said that once a brain cell is dead, it's dead forever. I was wrong. 
what happens is the brain has something in it called plasticity. The brain can actually rewire itself around damaged areas. That's why people that have strokes oftentimes recover. They start to get better. They get more mobility back. So what we need to do for a stroke victim is we have to make sure we're stimulating the part of the brain that's damaged. So let's assume somebody has a, they're paralyzed on the right side of their body. It's the left side of the brain that has the damage. So from a chiropractic standpoint, we adjust only the right side of the body, the, the part that's showing symptoms, to send neurological impulses up to the left side of the brain. Then we make sure the circulation is right. We got to clear out the blood vessels, first of all. Blood vessels usually have some placking in there. So we get them on an anti-inflammatory diet, a lot of fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds. We'll get them on Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, which of course all of you should be taking anyway. And we get them off the bad foods, the, the things that are oxidizing their low-density lipoproteins, heated fats, which is cooked animal products, uh, hydrogenated oils. We want to get them uh, on raw foods that have enzymes. Enzymes can get into the blood and help dissolve some of the plaque, which is kind of cool. Uh, we start them out usually very slowly with Dr. Joe's nitric oxide support, which opens up your blood vessels, not only to your brain. How about your reproductive organs? A lot of people have issues with uh, romantic function. It's a family show, I know. That's a warning sign. Boys and girls, if you're having issues with circulation in the romantic department, that's usually a warning sign that heart disease is, or heart attack could be not far away or a stroke. So we got to clean out the arteries. And once we get that done, and that usually takes six, eight, ten months of really hardcore good dieting, or good eating, I guess I should say, then we can go into a little further work from a chiropractic standpoint, stimulating that part of the brain and kicking in that plasticity. So cut out the alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, artificial sweetener, breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, and pastas. Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, Dr. Joe's Adrenal Support as an anti-inflammatory. And then from there, I'd, I'd, I'd meet with the person. Of course, my team of doctors would meet with the person and put together a protocol for them. And then from a chiropractic standpoint, do some stimulation of the brain. So there's your question there answered. All right, back to things you can do. We've got about two minutes left here. Things that you need to do to avoid these toxic chemicals. Get the plastic out of your, uh, out of your house. Only store something in plastic if it's cold. Never put something hot in the, in the freezer. Replace your nonstick pots and pans with ceramic or glass. Biggie. Nonstick pans have PFOAs in them, which are toxic chemicals. So the ones that are nonstick and slidey, you don't want them. If it's ceramic or glass, I'm okay with that. But the other ones, I'm not a big fan with. Look at the products and make sure that they're animal friendly. They're sustainable. Try to do organic if you can. Organic's going to have a lot less pesticides in it. Avoid uh, stain and water-resistant clothing, furniture, carpets, because they have chemicals in them. The, the, the waterproofing is toxic chemicals that can get into your body as well. Didn't have time to cover that today. Uh, feminine hygiene products, try to do organic if you can, because the bleaches and the chemicals that are feminine hygiene products can be very toxic. What are you doing? You're taking these chemicals and putting them inside your body in a very uh, delicate area. Look for fragrance-free products. This is a biggie, folks. Uh, clothes soap, hand soap, dish soap, never use uh, uh, dryer sheets. Folks, got to go. Well, so much more to cover. Go to my website if you want more information, drjoe.com. If you want to order the supplements, drjoe.com. Also available on Amazon. Uh, my podcasts are there. Sign up for my newsletter. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Tell your friends about the show. Uh, so much good information, and that's why I want you to spend a little time on my website sniffing around. Read the articles that I've written, and if you have questions, please send them to me through the website, drjoe.com. We want to help you get well and stay well. Got to run. Tell your friends about the show. Catch you next time.